Hi, this is our video number four that is from our P2P series and uh, in our pre video number three we have completed our business partner. We have created business partner. If you have not watched those videos first complete one two three then this will be our fourth video and that is related to our master record related to our material master. Like in our previous video, we have created the business partner with different roles so that we can perform the transaction. In this particular video, I am going to create the material master because we need to define what we are going to purchase. So we have to create one ma master record that is related to material and the same material we are going to purchase also through the logistic transactions. So next jump into the system. So let's go to the system and let's create one material master and which is again master data. So the master data team they are going to create again. If you are responsible for master data creation, then this will be your part of your profile. So how to create ma material master. So this material master we are going to create again in both way. We can do that either you can use the transaction code. So the transaction code is MM01. So this MM01 you can enter in this T code segment there you can create or you can create this one through the logistic. So let me show you both options. So one option is you can enter here the transaction code MM01. So if you click here, uh, if you enter here MM01 and if you click here. So let me enter that MM01. So I got this screen. This is one option. If you don't want to use transaction code, you want to use navigation. So in that case also master record is not part of finance. Material master is not part of finance. So through logistic also we can create. So go to the logistic, then go to material management, then go to our master record, material master, then go to your material, then go to create. So in both way you can so but but mostly we can uh, use transaction code which is more convenient. So select one industry. So you know that your company is belongs to which industry accordingly you are going to create the material or what product you are going to purchase that accordingly you are going to select. So I'm going to select here if we click here you will find here different industries which is created by the consultant. So let's say I will select whether it is related to mechanical you can select chemical you can select or pharma you can select. So I'm going to purchase the plastic and this one is really Related to, for example, let's say mechanical engineering. So my industry sector is mechanical, and what type of product we are going to purchase? So in different time we are going to create different material masters. Right now I am going to create one material master which is raw material, which is raw material. So this material master I am going to create. So the material type will be raw material that I am going to select here. Click here. So in this list I am going to create this one. Then related to this material, what are the informations I'm going to add that we are going to add here. So for our transaction purpose, whatever the information is required that we are going to add. So here you can see the select views. Okay, if we cl click here the select views. So there you will get like whether we are going to purchase it, whether we are going to have accounting information. So we are going to have purchase information. So those informations we are going to maintain. So click on select views from this dialogue. You are going to select different views as per your need. You can select the views. So I will select here information general information that views then I'm going to purchase it. So purchasing view is also required. Then I need here that uh, plant information is also required general plant storage informations plus I need here the accounting information is also required. So I'm going to purchase it from vendor. So I don't need the costing views, but in another material we are going to select those. So right now I have selected these views and accordingly we are going to uh, select here the plant again. It is part of organization structure which you know. So I will select here the plant then storage location under which warehouse we are going to create it. So that is, again it is part of your organization structure that also you can select here. So already you have this list and when you will create this material master from your company point of view you have this list then click here enter. Now fill this information. Give the description related to your material. So let's say this is my plastic. Plastic seat. This is our description related to material. How you are going to measure it. So material like for example if it can be kg it can be piece it can be if it is liquid like liter anyway you can uh, get these informations from the uh, supplier with 
like before purchasing anything first we have to create the master record in the system that is the logic here just like you uh, in you, when you are studying so before posting the voucher posting the transactions you should have the t format that you are creating so that you can post the debit credit entries same concept here before posting the transaction master record should be there in the system so this one i'm going to take as piece so unit of measurements each so by counting piece it will be there under which group we are going to create this one again you can uh, select uh, like i know that this is my group so i will select this one okay then uh, related to operation so this information so you will get it from your like when you will join or practice point of you will get it so general operation t that is part of my operation then other information so i don't have yeah this uh, item category what type of material so let's say i will select here it is standard material standard item then weight information related to let's say it is one kg just randomly update this figure now i want to switch to uh, purchasing you can see different tabs are there and where you will find this radio button that means initially what are the tabs i have activated so this will be my purchasing tab or this is my purchasing view then purchasing group again that is coming from our configuration so tp this, this team is responsible for purchasing this type of material then other informations i don't have so click enter now it jumps to your plant data storage one so here if any information is there that you can add uh, otherwise continue then accounting tab this is important for us so here valuation class integration point of view it is required it is very very important for the uh, uh, consultants who are doing the FIMM integration for the time being or for your case you can select here valuation class as 3000 or anything configured by your consultant that you are going to select here so that is why master record is very important and mostly the senior people they used to create the master record now this one again another concept related to material ledger so let's make it simple so that you can practice and you can understand it i will take this material uh, as moving average so there are two type options are there one is standard price and another one is moving average price for easy understanding purpose i am going to take this one a moving average price and this one i am going to take it as two so what is the price of the material right now zero because we are going to purchase it so the this one also we are going to change the price control should be v if it's standard price it is s if it is moving average price v and what is moving average once we will do the transaction that time first i will show you in excel then we will do the system transactions so it is v and what is the material price right now so the price is zero because we are going to purchase it and that price will be provided by the vendor so this price is zero and save right so the material created material number 61 if you want to see the material right so how you can creation mm01 edit mm02 display mm03 suppose i want to see this particular material which right now i have created so mm03 so you know the material number 61 and select which view you want to see i want to see the accounting view so i want to select here directly i want to go to the accounting view I can directly go to the accounting view. I just I want to see both the views basic information, general information plus accounting information. Then add your plant. And this is my material master created. So right now I'm, I'm in general view. So general information is there. Once click enter, so you will go to the accounting view. So what is the price right now? Nothing. So once we'll purchase it, the price is going to be updated. So this material add to purchase right so we have created the material master in this video so in next video we will start with our transaction so that in, uh, we will start with transactions and uh, then we will proceed with the payment thank you